Hey guys, welcome to Little Blair Book, you know what time it is. Uh, we'll talk to you guys really quickly about the Ultimatum Season 2. It's gone, it's finished, it's done. Um, but one of the biggest stories on that particular show was Lisa and Brian's storyline. Uh, one of the things that people were asking was, was Lisa really pregnant? People couldn't believe, they felt like she might be lying to keep Brian in the relationship. And I'm not going to lie to you, I thought it was possible. But it seems um, this child uh, that they've created out of love um, has been officially unveiled and so therefore we have to kill the conversation about the fake pregnancy she generally was pregnant is pregnant as sorry generally was pregnant has finished her pregnancy and now they have a bouncing baby child i think it's a baby boy if i'm correct um and look i want to be be as frank as possible um you know we want to well we want to send them well wishes um in terms of parenthood and hope that you know they can be two great parents going forward and give that child everything it needs there is a conversation around the fact that the, about about healthy parenting coming from healthy relationships that as much as we talk about the the greatness of having a child the maintenance of a child also is what's in key. What I mean by that, I mean by hopefully that these two are working on their relationship so they can give this child the best possible start. Because what we saw in the ultimatum was madness. I can't lie to you. If people are going to be putting hands and faces, that's a craziness. If I'm going to be hyping you up and, and trying to, um, you know, force you to do certain things, we're going to be in trouble. If we're not mature enough to have, you know, really educated conversations where we're not going to blow up the gasket, then we're going to be in trouble. And so very much like I was saying back in the day with Miles and um, I said with Miles and uh, what's the name? I can't remember her name. Karen from Married at First Sight. Same thing here. I need them to work on their relationship because it doesn't fit. It doesn't stop just because you guys had a child that it's going to change. I remember when I was 18, 17 and I said, I remember at the time when I had a girlfriend, I was like, you know what? If we had a kid, maybe it will change the situation. I was foolish. I mean, I never did it, but I'm saying that was foolish and it never would change the situation because the reality of the situation is your problems are still problems. The way you guys behave to each other is still going to be there. The way you react to each other is still going to be there. Now, I think they might have said they were going through therapy. I'm not sure 100%. Hopefully they are and so they can work on how to handle affairs and how they handle their disputes, especially Lisa, because what we saw was concerning on our screen. That had nothing to do with the fact that your hormones were all over the place. To put your hands in somebody's face is definitely nothing to do with um, hormones. That is all to do with your disrespect of how you treat your partner and how you view them as well. And for him to stay while she put her hand in his face is also a question around what is your particular respect of yourself? What, how do you value yourself? Now, of course, that's because I'm, I'm, a, I'm an advocate of the moment someone does something physical to you, get your ass out. Um, but not everyone feels that way. And I understand that. And some, not all situations are the same. Some people do it once and it never happens again. I wouldn't advise it, but I'm saying, listen, you know, um, in this situation, you know, Brian is a grown ass man. He knows what he's doing. Um, and so therefore he has to take, he, he can make his own decisions. That is what I'm going to say about it. Right. So I do wish them well on their, on their parenthood um, and them being great parents. And I hope that they're working on the relationship aspect because what we saw again um, wasn't healthy, but if they can work on it and work on their re reactions and work on the, 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 the anger, and begin to get to the root cause of those reasons why we react the way we do. You know, this can be a beautiful, beautiful uh, relationship because they generally have chemistry. They generally get along. There's attraction there. They're both beautiful looking people. Um, and they've created a child now. So clearly they have some alignment in their thoughts, right? So hopefully Brian also finds his voice and his two feet because, bro, it, it's going to get boring real quick when you're under, when you're underneath someone's thumb and they treat you a particular way. When you finally find your voice, they're going to feel like the whole world has been shifted and shaken. So that's what i got to say. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate y'all. 